Okay, so this is the current situation up until now I've been using the just a inner tube bicycle inner tube with the gorilla gorilla tape to do the kill and the protection if you if you want to use it it works fine for a quick fix and uh, if you don't want to play with the kydex stuff uh, the problem is I'm kind of getting tired of replacing it non-stop. I did like about a week uh, trip with uh, all sort of landing and launches and finally gave up and I'm gonna see if I can make one of those kill guards. It does last actually a lot more than you think. The only problem is once you have this thing on there, you tend to be a little more brave and kind of do control crash landings in boat ramps and uh, and surf launches and landings. Um, the only damage I honestly seen is. Uh, over here on the side for some reason I don't know it's basically if you land in a lot of gravel and stuff but yeah so I ordered the fairly thick I would say it's the zero it's the 0 0.08 thickness kydex from Amazon um, it is very cheap it's like five bucks for two of those uh, sheets rough on one side shiny on the other it's gonna be kind of tricky how to cut it exactly so it molds to the it molds to the groove and there's plenty of videos how to do it so we'll see if we run into any problems I'm gonna do it bonded with the marina marina goop instead of the double-sided uh, tape that most people use and yeah just basic tools some some tape something to cut it eyelining stuff outlining it hopefully these gloves are thick enough and I'm gonna scuff the area a little bit both the kydex and the thing before I marine goop it and rubbing alcohol to clean the area that's pretty much it and just a strap and some packing tape to wrap it around after that so it cures and that's pretty much it if i run into trouble there is always youtube to go back and see but really the problem is going to be to figure out exactly how to cut this thing to so we don't have any problems with this edge that's kind of really sharp and thin on the outback okay on to cleaning the area okay so here we are 12 hours later no <laughs> it actually took a couple of minutes to cut it it's this kydex is surprisingly very cooperative um, I did make a little template of what I think uh, I want it to look like use the coffee mug Pencil, regular crappy razor blade and just scissors and I still have all my fingers so pretty simple until right now everything going smooth I don't know if I trimmed this a little bit too thin my OCD did kick in and by the time I evened it out I might have went a little too thin so but I'll see how 
after I heat it up we'll know exactly what we did so this is half of the kydex that comes it's four inches wide and on to the heating process okay so this was fairly easy to do actually you just melt the the kydex on a away from the kayak with a heat gun until it becomes like Nutella and then you just slap it on and make sure you're wearing thick gloves because this thing gets really hot and I did have to trim this a little bit more than I wanted to otherwise it was not very cooperative um, as far as having little gaps here maybe I should have maybe before I cut it I should have heated it up a little bit more but I ended up just cutting it um, and now it just looks as perfect as I can really get it I heated it once and I put it on there um, held it for a little bit and it kind of took its shape and everything and and then I heated it up again after I cut a little bit and made this a little bit thinner and we are off to the glowing process just gonna clean the area one more time and see what goes on okay so here we are in intensive care recovery for the next 24 hours I really like how it came out I'm gonna have to clean up a little bit of the excess glue because I did put too much in on purpose I put too much so when I squeeze it and put it on there you'll have to you'll make the the goop is gonna come out on the edges and I don't have to seal it afterwards but I think this should be good enough people use double-sided tape everybody says this is impossible to take anywhere if this uh, if I want to replace this at a later point I wrapped it around with a bunch of straps so it's gonna stay like this for 24 hours so yeah another fun and inexpensive and easy DIY project and if you do like spending time and doing this kind of stuff you will enjoy this for sure probably one of the easiest DIY uh, that I've done and now I don't have to worry about if my Gorilla Tape is ripped on the bottom I can worry about the normal things in life like if my wife uh, googled how much I paid for my bike and that kind of stuff so yeah my next project is gonna be the live well because my bait tube creates too much drag and I don't really like it so if you wanna see more stuff with content like this hopefully one day also catching fish which will happen soon please subscribe and like the video if there's any questions let me know but yeah simple project later bye